What is up everyone? I'm Joey Morin and this is a drawing tutorial episode 2 of How I Draw. I'm calling it How I Draw because I have certain techniques, tips, tricks that I do when I draw that is not necessarily conventional but they work really well. They're almost like uh, drawing hacks if you will. And um, uh, link in the description for the first episode if you want to check that out to kind of get um, more in-depth idea of where I'm heading with this series um, but you know what I'm gonna review anyways so feel free to just catch up right now uh, in front of you you see the wolf that I started last uh, episode um, and uh, I like it looks nice but I think we're going to have to re redraw this so I can review all right don't worry guys I know that was a nice looking uh, sketch of a wolf's eye but I am a professional. I can get us there again. You guys ready to have some fun? I know I am. Let's go. Okay, so back to the drawing board. <laughs> uh, I'm a dad. You're going to get a lot of that from me. Okay, let's see here. Start with our pencil. And remember, I talked about um, last episode the four elements that I like to think about when I'm piecing together a drawing. Um, making marks, not not detail, marks. This is just you're bringing it up from uh, uh, layer by layer, starting very lightly, just making some scratchings, some etchings, figuring out some angles. That's the next element. Bringing those scratches to, to form angles because everything, even a circle, has, uh, if, if you think of it in angles, you could piece together a circle by just drawing a stop sign or something like that simple first and then just rounding it from there. Um, it's all just making marks. Then you take those angles and you form shapes that you can pick out. If you look at that wolf, I zoomed in on it, the, the image I, I chose. Um, I'm gonna show you how to grab those, those uh, angles, form some shapes that'll start to piece together this, this wolf's uh, sketch. So let's start. It should be done in about a minute and then we can move on to something else. All right, here we go. So first off, like, just like last week, I, I talked about how I saw that triangle that formed on the left eye there. So for an angle goes like, you know, like this, um, an angle goes like that. And if you don't like an angle, you can always fix it. And I'm looking back and forth at the image and I'm just scratching in that triangle. Let's see, there's an angle coming down like that, coming like that, and an angle like this. And when it, you see my head looking back and forth, that's because I'm taking those mental snapshots, just like I, I mentioned in, in the episode previous. Um, just etching in, blocking in areas, looking back and forth, making sure that the mental snapshot that I'm taking matches the image that I'm looking at. Don't just look at it once and then come over here and draw for two minutes. You're not going to get um, an identical projection of that you it's better to look back and forth piece by piece so that if you see something that doesn't look right you can fix it right away and then you didn't waste two minutes of drawing because then you realize that it's it was wrong the whole time also a little thing to remember i wanted to mention this last episode but i forgot to do that um, try and work with the subject matter that is an actual photograph as you notice this is a photograph of a wolf um, it's not a painting of a wolf from another artist and the reason I say to not do that is because you don't want to carry on any errors or mistakes that that artist may have made. Um, it's like, it, and it's also this concept, like if you take a photo photocopy of a photocopy, you're going to bring on those imperfections. It's going to magnify imperfections and it's going to degrade the quality as you, as it goes from copy to copy to copy. So you're better off working straight from a photograph a high resolution photograph so you can get what you need from it. So now that I got some angles, I'm going to come in and I'm going to clean up. And if you're working on paper, remember, don't commit to lines. Use this, use this etching technique. Work on that first. Please do not just draw a bunch of lines. You're going to, uh, you're going to get to the detail later. Um, it's better to build up like layer on top of layer on top of layer of light, light sketches. Because all that, all that um, light sketching on top of each other, that's building, um, you're building 
that detail. It's all going to flow together. And you can clean up, you can come in and you can darken a few things. And a uh, little thing, a little trick I'd like to remember to, to tell you is um, eyes are fun to draw. And um, it's tempting to, to wrap the bat, put that little highlight on, in it. I personally like to save that as like a reward. It's so rewarding when you put that little glow in there, the little shine. It just makes the eye really pop and brings it to life. So remember, making marks, and, you know, etchings into angles that form shapes and then start to color in very gradually on paper. And uh, when I say to you, if you're doing this on paper and you don't have a uh, tablet like I do, work very lightly with a, even a dull tip. I wouldn't have a sharp pencil. I would have a dull tip pencil. You're just trying to sketch in the, those, those rough marks, making those angles, forming those shapes, okay? And work very lightly. You don't want to get to the point where it's, you're at the point of no return on a page. Because, um, so use like an H pencil and just very lightly with a dull, dull tip, just etch in those things. And then as you start to see that you're liking what you got, come in with like a B pencil, very lightly over top of that and start to just dirt deepen it but layer by layer build it up this is how you're gonna if you take this approach for anything you draw then you'll have the same results um, so moving forward I want to show that this can this technique can work even if you're drawing like a human eye and so I'm gonna bring up a photo of like I don't know pick we'll just go on Google images and find a, a celebrity eye uh, you know, close up of like, you know, someone's face and we'll use this technique to draw that. And I'll show you that even, even with the scratchy, angly, shaky kind of method, we can get a pretty realistic looking, um, human as well. You know, if you're a fan of a certain celebrity, you might want to draw their portrait. So I can show you how to do that right now. Okay. So now I've got the image I selected, pretty popular actress right now note the avengers endgame it last year and and her new movie black widow coming up let's have some fun drawing with her eye this time okay angles make some marks get your angles okay right off the bat i'm seeing i'm doing the, i'm doing uh the left the eye on the left so i see an angle like that okay right off the bat then you go and then you come up here Maybe we're coming down like this. Remember, you could be wrong. It's okay to be wrong. Just you're making marks and you're gonna put it in. You're gonna take those mental snapshots and zoom in a bit so this will look bigger for you guys. There we go. All right, I got some angles. Not 100% happy with them already. So I'm gonna come in here with my eraser and just gonna, gonna bring that, I'm gonna widen that eye a bit more. Switch back to my, my black. And I'm just gonna Make sure I get the right angles. Another one coming up like this. Okay, see how I'm building it? All right, you can just, I'm not looking for realism. We're just placing, and then the, the eyelid, just same thing. You can just build, you can just build language, because it looks like it follows right along her eye. Just build angles all the way around, coming back down to about there. Okay, um, you can do the pupil if you want. Like I said, you're not looking to draw a circle, you're just doing the dark spot where the pupil should be. Okay, nothing, we're not committing, okay? Don't make your dark lines. A lot of people, they just wanna go right in and just say, oh, I'm gonna draw this, 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 this is, this is what her eye looks like. And I'm gonna draw it right now and, and I'm gonna put her eyelashes in. And look at how beautiful my portrait is. That's not what I'm trying to show you guys. <laughs> Avoid that, don't do that. You know, if I was grading your papers and I saw those, I would, I would like, seriously, I would take the marks away. But I'm not grading anybody. We're just having some fun. But just, yeah. So now I'm going to come in a little darker. Start. I'm not looking to draw eyelashes. Not yet. Just want to make those marks. Okay. Trying to get the likeness. She's got, a, she's got some eyelashes come down here. I'm not drawing eyelashes. I'm just putting a little darkness. It's got to look, when I look back and forth, it's got to look like the, like the snapshot of my brain, right off the bat. And if you don't get it, um, what I'm talking about with the snapshot, you need to practice, you need to trust me, it's gonna work. It's something that your brain is capable of doing, okay? Now I'm just rounding this, 
that's something over here, that's something over like that. I'm just rounding it. And then I can come in and I can, I can color in the eye. Okay, but I'm not trying to color perfectly. I'm just trying to color in the shape. And I don't like that little dark gray underneath there because um, it's taken away from the, the realism. But I'm not worried about it. I can just darken the pupil and bring it back, bring it back. And, and then I can come in with my eraser if you're on paper and just lightly dab, scratch, get in there and just, and just, you know, go over top of it and just dab and get those, get those out of there. Okay. Same concept, same thing we just been doing for the wolf. We just applied to, to her eye and, and, and we got it. We got the likeness already. Okay. And since we're here, Let's have some fun. Let's, let's actually try and do some de detail and show you what I would do. This is how I would draw, get the rest of it, okay? So just, um, I'm gonna go pretty quick. Just follow along and try and keep up, okay? And I'm gonna explain what I'm doing as I'm doing it, just so that you're not left in the dust, okay? I'm gonna come in here with a wider. When you're working with digital, it's kind of a cheat um, to be able to just change the size of your tip like that but um, that's what I'm doing I'm, I'm working with digital so I'm going to take advantage of the of the um, you know the tools and the tricks that I have at my disposal like right there I didn't like the darkness of that gray I didn't switch to white I just color picked a, a gray near it and dimmed it so now I'm going to color pick the white and I'm going to come back in there like that okay a little bit of a highlight glow coming out from the bottom of her eye. Okay, so I wanted to do a voiceover at this point, so I muted this section of the video. I wanted to explain something that I noticed in the playback. If you look at the cursor, you'll see it, it does like a sweeping motion. The, the stylus that I'm using is pressure sensitive, most stylists are, and so I'm, push, I'm pushing very lightly when I do my, my marks, when I make my marks. And I just, and I do it in a sweeping motion. You gotta keep that in mind when you're doing that. And, and this technique works on paper as well. Press very lightly and just do like a sweeping motion. Um, coming in heavier in the areas that you want it to really affect. And, uh, and, and coming in light and, to, and exiting light. And so I just wanted to make sure that that point was not missed in this tutorial. And now I'm gonna work on the eyelash um, under her eye. Now remember what I showed before, you know, you don't want to, um, eyelashes don't look like this. They don't look perfectly symmetrical. Line, 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 line. Like that's okay. It's going to look fine, but why would you do, why would you do that just to kind of get it done? Have a look at the, um, the image, you know, let me show you what the image looks like actually. Up close with those eyelashes. There's some that kind of bunch together right here. So you can draw like two together like that. And there's a little one here. It's not, it's not perfectly. And then just little marks, just little ticks on the page or on the surface or on the canvas, whatever you're working on. And that's how you can get a more realistic looking eyelash underneath instead of just drawing some lines just to say you're done. And that's how I would do it. I would look closely. I would zoom in on the picture and then start to just making marks, little etches, scratches. Okay. And then she's got eyelashes that come down and they kind of make a, a thing like this, but it's because they're coming down and then curving to the left of it. So, okay, that's what I do. This is how I draw. And there's no reason why you guys can't take all these little tricks and do what I do. Just remember, it's the basics. You gotta start small, smart, making making marks, and working on light layers, and building it up from there. Okay. There's some like glows coming out from here. That. That's nice. And some sharp around the outside of the eye. bit of a glow there uh, not quite as dark as that let's, let's fix that there that's that's basically I'm, I'm, I'm gonna say that that's 
part of the eyelash coming off and it's catching a bit of light there. And then you come in with the dot right about there. We can do that with the wolf. See all the detail we did with that eye? We can go into the wolf and do the same thing. We can zoom in close, find out, you know, how the furred patterns come, connect around the, and I can show, I can go over the, how to, how to do fur using very similar uh, concept that I showed with the eyelashes and uh, how to piece it together. That'll be in the next video. Okay, so that's today's lesson. I hope you enjoyed it. Hope you had fun and um, keep practicing. You know, in between videos, practice what I said. Draw some circles, honestly. Try and make a nice round circle using this technique. Practice making marks, coming together with your angles, form the shape, and then maybe take it to the next level and make a sphere. Give it some shadow underneath, highlight in the center at the top, pick a light source, add a shadow behind it, and make it like a marble, like a sphere. Give it some depth. You know, I'm challenging you. So I want to see you put together some stuff. Okay, so uh, hit that subscribe button. Don't forget to um, share this with people that you think would like to, would benefit from it. And have, I want kids to be able to watch this and to learn stuff and, uh, and learn how to draw. In, in all ages, by the way, you can start drawing at any age and really get, you know, really enjoy it and really have fun with it and make some pretty nice illustrations. Okay. So we'll pick up where we left off in the next episode and then we'll cover some other stuff. We're going to start digging into shading and, and um, textures. I'm going to work on the fur on the wolf and give you an idea of where to take it from there. We're going to, we're going to finish the Scarlett Johansson picture too. And I think we're going to try and put some color in and make it, make it a realistic portrait. I just wanted to sketch that in and show you how I would do it. And if you look back and forth, I'm doing that now. Looks like I got it pretty close. Um, and when you start to fill in the other things like the eyebrow and start filling the nose and yeah, you get, you get, um, what I'm talking about. All right, everyone. So that's everything. I'm Joey Morin. I had a lot of fun today. This is how I draw. And until next time, be good.